So welcome back everybody. We are looking forward to continue today in this beautiful chapter, Pave Test, the ninth chapter, we get us a tshuva. <clears throat> so the, if you, to, to understand where the Altrebbe, um, what the Altrebbe is emphasizing over here in this chapter, Pave Test, you, one needs to go back to the beginning of the Pedic, I believe this is the second class in this chapter. You, one has to see the class of the previous week, and actually this Pedic test comes as a continuation of the end of Pedic Ches, which is a, uh, the whole Pedic Ches, is a culmination of the message and the en enormous, enormous, uh, rich, Information which the Alter Rebbe presents to us in this Yigeres Hatshuva. As you see, the beginning Periches Achrei Hamalchas Hadas Bechol Hanal. They're meditating in all the above, referring to, of course, in the beginning of Yigeres Hatshuva. But namely, the Rebbe has this uh, from the very beginning of the fourth chapter till this very chapter Periches, a build up and a, a unique, indeed a unique presentation of the whole phenomenon of tshuva, the Chaman of what happens when a person sins, the idea of the two levels of tshuva, tshuva tato and tshuva ilo, the lower level of tshuva and the higher level of tshuva, tshuva as the, uh, associated with the holy name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu Hashem, yud kei vav kei, there's the two he's, tshuva is a combination of the two words, toshu hei, to return the hei, <clears throat> as the hei, um, separated itself from the Yud Kivov, the idea is to return primarily starting from the Hei Tata, this Hei which um, needs to be aligned with the Yud Kivov because the Chaman Litzlan, it's not just when you say disalignment, is uh, it causes a big mess, the Chaman Litzlan, when it is disaligned with the Yud Kivov, as Dr. Rebbe explains in these chapters, and Vov and Zion and so on. And um, and then there's the the uh, and, and then the next level would be tshuva ilo, returning the higher hey to the yud, and as the Alter explains, yud is the idea of uh, chokma, as we know, chokma is bittel. The hey is bina, as connecting the bina to the yud, meaning to say the total bittel to Hakadosh Baruch Hu which is manifest precisely in Bina and understanding, which is the idea of Isasik Beiraisa, so learning Teira. In the word Bina itself, there is Ben Yudke, the idea of Bina connecting with the Yud. The word Bina itself is Beis Nun Yud, Yud, uh, yud and a Hey, and so you have Ben Yudke. <coughs> so the idea, the Avoida of this Shavei Law is learning Teira, and in the beginning, Pedic Test, al by extension, says is learning Teira, and also... Um, uh, um, pondering on the, on the greatness of a Baruch utilizing one's mind, the Bina, and in expansiveness, as the al Rebbe says, the Tuft Hamvadas, thoroughly understanding and in detail and articulation, the matters of the locus of godliness that itself would ignite the heart <clears throat> in order that the heart should also uh, be a part of the experience of Avedus Hashem. And and a a sensational uh, expression, a sensational uh, expression of. In other words, the heart is sensationally part of the whole, the the um, the the yid's um, connection and in adhering to our Kodesh Baruch Hu, Which, of course, when you speak about heart, heart is about sensation. Love is a sensational attribute. It's sensational um, experience. In Yira, all midas by definition, there's some sensation. That's what makes them a midah. But the midas, uh, nonetheless, there's different levels how the midas could be ignited when there is a thorough understanding in the greatness of a Kodesh Baruch Hu and reality of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. The mind pondering and in 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 on on uh, in a way of again bina elaboration and expansiveness and matters of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, that would ignite the heart that the heart would come in fully with its full sensational expression into the uh, on the, into the arena, if you will, of Hashem, of serving a Kodesh Baruch Hu. So, to see all this, the, the 
uh, wherever you're watching it, if you're if you're if you're a newcomer, again we mentioned this name for the newcomers, other than that you know that wherever you're watching this, there's the advantage of finding the uh, or following this on the uh, original website, which is Tanya Online, one word dot com, Tanya Online dot com. Even though if you're watching it elsewhere, you can pick up the idea. It's very well pre pre presented. The only thing is the advantage is that you have all the previous classes on that website. And it's lined up on the, on the left side of the, of the site, which is very easy to access. And they open up in the same fashion as if you'd be watching this on this uh, website. And the Tanya Online, the, there's an advantage also, as you could know, take note that the um, text comes up in a separate scroll bar as such, easy to follow. So wherever you're, again, so the the, uh, and the other classes come up in the same fashion. The name, name advantage is that the, you have access to the previous classes. So when you're talking about Pedic tests, uh, the, where we're holding now, of course, to understand what the, today's message, you have to understand in the beginning of Pedic tests, and now it comes following the message towards the end of Pedic Ches, of an entire Pedic Ches coming as a continuation of the previous chapter, Nadal and Hei, Vav and Zayin which was the build-up of the al Rebbe, leading to this culmination of Pedic Ches and Pedic Tes and so on. Um, so, so, and really it's a click away. So, as we say many times, the right thing is just to start right away into this Vahine as we go on. And, but but it, it, it makes sense to mention this, that, for example, in order to understand today's message, it, 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 you have, one has to have a, a somewhat of a, of a, of a tune into the beginning of Pedic Test, the end of Pedic Ches, because this is a this is a clear follow up, and basically what Al Tareb is saying, which we'll begin, is that because there's a the Bina is in full function via Yisasi Beiraisa via the person's occupation in Teda, which this becomes his. His, uh, his life streams, it becomes his entire occupation, tied on his mind on a constant basis, which is the idea of Tshuva Ilo, as explains the, the, in, the previous, in the previous chapter, the virtue of Tshuva Ilo, the connection, the deepest connection with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, B'terem Shunafcha, B'Belashon Al Terebbe, B'terem Shunafcha, B'Rach Tibis Baruch, now true oneness, again, you can see the Lashon and the idea of Al Terebbe presents in the end of Peri Ches, Towards the end of Pediches, a click away. Um, so, so the the uh, and by by and by extension and together with that 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 bina simply utilizing one's intellect, you know, understanding and and profoundly med meditating on matters of Hakadosh Baruch and understanding the Betuv Tam Vadas. That and only that would draw in would pull in the midas, the 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 uh, the attributes. The, the the feelings of the yid into his avedis Hashem, and the um, and um, and and as it's known again, the more just like we, we mentioned very clearly the last week, the last time we learned them in, in the the, uh, the last class that uh, that it's, it's simple when one understands something thoroughly, and you understand something, the benefit of it, your heart is driven to it, you're cleaving to it. There is there is a, a, a proclivity to that which you fully know. I want it I, and I want it and I want it now and I want to connect to it because I understand the virtue of it I see it and I understand it to, to the detail that I, I want to have it and I can't without it somewhat so which is the idea of Ava of course and again if it's in a human being or if it's an idea if it's a um, strategy, business strategy. If you see something very clear and you understand how this can bring you benefit, so of course you 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 gravitate to it. You want it, and so to another person, another party. Which of course then the love is a deeper idea of love, and so on and so forth. To the extent of love of of uh, which is in, in the human beings, namely the, the, the idea of shira shirim, which again Al Tareb brings this pasuk right here in the beginning of today's. Class of espousal relationship, of course, there's the true sensation of connection, of love, and, and, and binding to the extent of an intimate connection, and so on and so forth. And so, too, would work with a Kodesh Baruch Hu. If someone has that clarity and the Tuf Tamadas, he develops a, um, a clarity on, on matters of Alakus, of course, the heart is going to follow. 
and the heart com- would follow in, in the deepest levels, the most sensational expressions of heart. And this is what the Alter Rebbe, again, need to understand the, the, today's class by it. You need to you tap into the previous classes. But this is pretty much the message with Alter Rebbe, with Alter Rebbe uh, led to in the previous chapter that the Bino, because there's the expansive, expansiveness of Bino, it wouldn't just stop by the Bino, by the person's understanding, thorough appreciation of matters of godliness. No, it would continue. It would continue because that's the way it is naturally in all areas of life. When you understand something thoroughly, you cleave to it. You feel a certain, you understand some uh, matter of uh, awe or something which would arouse and evoke awe or fear or reverence. If you understand it in your mind that this is something which would draw a certain uh, feeling of awe or reverence, so that's what's going to follow. And so too in all the other mitzvahs. And what Al Trebe says is once you have the aim of Vetzasalafrecha, meaning to say this expansiveness of Bina, having an immediate impact, a more beyond impact, as Al Trebe writes in the third chapter of Lukuti Amori, Lukuti Amori, the first Chalik of Tanya, right? We're learning the third. Tanya, there's the five segments. We're learning the third segment. And then there we do conclude Lukuti Amori, Shaykh and Ramuna. So it's also on the same. Uh, the same site that you can find the, 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 this idea of the impact of intellect over midas, uh, over the attributes of a person. You see it in the third chapter, namely, or, uh, or very clearly, articulately, in the third chapter of Lukuti Amori, the first segment. Again, a click away. So there, in the says even more that, that it not only it arouses the heart, it gives birth, it produces Midas, it produces the attributes of man. As we can again evidently see, the person not necessarily is driven to something, but when he understands thorough its advantage and virtue, he is drawn to it. Something is produced, something is given. It was born over here. The Mida of Ava is an example, was born. And so to all the other Midas. Again, you can see it there in the third chapter of Lukuti Amori. So when you have the bino, all, 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 suddenly there's a whole the the, the midas are, are aroused or, or or come into production and they and they and they uh, and they express themselves. And we're talking about these bainus and the greatness of a kodesh baruch and the reality of a kodesh baruch. Of course, that arouses the yid to be connected to a kodesh baruch to cleat a kodesh baruch in a way that there is a sensational. Cle- uh, uh, sensational drive to HaKadosh Baruch to really become one with HaKadosh Baruch and that leads that the whole Tehra Mitzvah is different it's it's so distinct and it's so unique as we could all appreciate that sometimes we do something because we know that it makes sense to be done because and, and that itself says as we spoke the other week there's like the, the, in, even in a spousal relationship in certain times in certain areas that not necessarily there's an interest but we do this stuff that we that each party does this stuff that they are meant to do because they know that it doesn't make sense because we are essentially a one entity, a one unit, so each one would do for the other. But there's a certain, I wouldn't say robotic uh, performance necessarily. There's always some you know, stream of connection of love between the two parties. But nonetheless, not always is it and, and not always is it uh, a sensational expression meaning to say that this is what I do for the other party and it's not necessarily is something that I'm, I'm I just do it because I know that and, and not only I know mathematically so to say that it makes sense for me to do it which we have to realize as well that it's important there's consistency all the time if we're interested or not but but nonetheless, there is, and there's meant to be, somewhat of a spark of, somewhat of a connection between the two. So I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to do, do, do the, uh, you always give this example, which is, I'm taking the person, uh, he's taking out the garbage as an example. Not necessarily that he's interested. The one is interested in doing that. We use this example as like a, 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 something which, which never goes away. Of course, with, with delight and pleasure, one should approach anything which is, brings pleasure to the other party, as an example. Anything, if it's something, I say this example, it's just like a simple example, not always there's an interest, and so too other things, go buy this, and, or at, at each party, again, their, 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 their doings to contribute to the wholesomeness of this u- unit, this oneness between the two. 
but many times it's okay. This there is, a, for, of course, a spark of the love between the two parties, and they're doing it. But nonetheless, it could be like a checklist, or it could be something somewhat robotic, not in a negative way, because there's not necessarily a this sensation. It's just an overall, as Alter Rebbe would call it, uh, an underlying love. Even though the underlying love, the innate, inherent underlying love, exists by siblings to people, those who are. Um, related father child and so on as Dr. Rebbe brings this lashon over here but nonetheless we can appreciate it in all levels that there's something which is you know the motor has to go on and the motor does go on but then there's another type of connection and would manifest in all areas and what one party would do for the other on a constant basis when there is a true sensational appreciation for one party to the other then I'm not just doing it sluggishly I'm doing it with passion and the passion could be expressed in every single little thing one does. If they go buy something, if they go shopping, or they do so, the smallest things, the love is so apparent between the two parties. So the, the, the action, it, it manifests and it penetrates every single detail in the actions of this, what the, each party does for the other throughout the entire day, week, and month, and, 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 and year, and life for that matter. It's a different type of action, it's a different type of speech, the way one talks to the other and the way one acts towards the other, it's a different idea completely. And that's what Dalt Rebbe says, once you have the the Eimrit Vetzis al which is literally translated the mother, which is Bina, hovering over the chicks, meaning the Midas are ignited, then the 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 Avas, the Avedis Hashem, the service of the Kuzbrach, is totally qualitative, diff, qualitatively different. From A to Z, as here Dalt Rebbe says, meaning the Ikira Ava, we talk about love. Usually, what does love bring? Yizdakus rucha berucha, the cleave, the connection, the adherence of two a spirit to spirit, is a a a a, uh, a spiritual sensation. But it means that as well, meaning to say, there is a connection of one spirit to another spirit, which of of course leads to a real true closeness, which is the point of as we mentioned, which Shlema Melech. The, the greatness of Shlema Melech uh, divulging in, 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 in uh, presenting the Shir Hashirim for, for, uh, to Am Yisrael for eternity. Because he opened up the, the, this, this window, which is again, of course, indicated in a number of places, even prior to Shlema Melech. Shlema Melech namely took this and, and developed it to demonstrate to every year that your connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu could be in such levels which is the which is the ultimate oneness and the ultimate connection that it would manifest in a total intimate experience with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Of course that's, you know, the Kiva said, Shira Shinim is Kedush Kadosh. Of course we know there's multiple types of relationships of the Yid with HaShem. Kibonim, Kabonim, children, servants, subjects, kings, Melech and Am, subjects and kings, servant and master, child and father. Shlomo Melech introduced this that ultimately we could become truly one with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, with the ultimate oneness. And as he says in Shir HaShirim, uh, the Kiva said that uh, Shir HaShirim could be Kedush HaKadosh because he, he, he realized that this, wow, this is something really, really special, beyond special, because he, re- he, he revealed to us that the, the level, that, that ultimate level of oneness which can exist between two parties, can exist between Hashem and, and Am Yisrael. Which is, of course, on top of the... What didn't negate the other relationships, understandably so. It, it was another type of segment, another type of um, way that a Yid can connect with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. There has to be, of course, the Bittal. Hashem is not a buddy-buddy. We have to completely submit ourselves to Hashem. He's a king. He's a master. Mm, understandably so. Melech Malchem Lachem HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But on top of that, he introduced that at the end of the day, the relationship can get deeper and yet deeper to the extent of that that of that of that oneness which exists in the in the spousal relationship, which is Dakas Rucha Berucha, that true oneness, um, could it also be reflective in our Avedis Hashem and our service to our Kaddish Baruch Hu. And this is what he says in the passage: Yishal Kainim in Shikas Piva. This is the Lashon Yishal Kainim, the kissing type uh, expression, which is, of course, an expression of the true connection of spirit to spirit was expressed with this expression. Kinei does it's known, and that's the way Yid could become close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Al Zen Nema, and this is what the Pasuk continues, 
And says the Chol Nafshecha, where this is what the Pasik states, a Yid could never do it. Because what about all his soul? What does it mean with all his soul? Shein Chesheim Hein Kol Chelki Anefesh, which is all the dimensions of the soul of the person, of the human being, which Hashem created a human being with Seichel, and Midas, intellect, and attributes, and feelings, the little shame and their garments, which is Machshavah Dibur Maisa, thought, speech, and action. Everything is pulled in. And again, this is called garments. We spoke about this so many times, I can appreciate it in all levels. Actually, you can see the idea of Machshavah Dibur Maisa, the idea of Lavushim, rather, in the beginning of the fourth chapter, in the first segment, again, click away. So everything is drawn in. Hashem did not only want our action, which even though it's a primary uh, prerequisite of a Yitz connected to Kodesh Baruch Hu, because it's Hashem wants Hayyim La'asayim to do, but if that's the case, Hashem would only create us, so to say, as robots, if you will. But Hashem gave us these rich faculty, created the human being with this, these rich faculties. Intellect, emotions, and again, thought and speech and so on. Because Hashem wanted that we should express our Abed Hashem on all levels. And if we have heart, the, we have the, 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 the message thus is from uh, the, of, of, of Baruch, which created the human being with heart and feelings and attributes that our, our relationship with Him is meant to and can be and is meant to be a sensational relationship. And this is what the Pesach says, B'chol of Nafshecha. Everything has to be involved and pulled. on Amidez, B'midez, Baruch. Our attributes are connected with Hashem's um, midas, Hashem's character, Hashem's attribute. Ma'u Racham, as the Gemara says, Hashem is merciful. We also attain this 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 uh, expression, this this feeling, this attribute of mercy, compa- being compassion to another human being, to another yid, to another human being. Because these are the midas of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, Hashem, you have that character. I will emulate you. I will identify with that same midah. And v'aseichel b'sichel v'chokmasi is baruch. And if I have intellect, I will connect, and again, in the very most deepest levels, with a Kodesh Baruch Hu, with my intellect and my understanding, wisdom. And, and sorry, v'aseichel b'sichel v'chokmasi is baruch. My intellect with a Kodesh Baruch Hu's intellect. Which is the Teva, of course. And the Chachmasay is Baruch and Hashem's wisdom. And what is that? Iuna Teiro, Veiraisim the Chachmanafko, which is learning Teiro with understanding. And again, the Lashon Iun means to say, I put my mind, truly put my mind to it. I don't learn Teiro peripherally. I open a Gemara, I'm going to learn it, I'm going to understand it. Every Rashi, and there's nothing I'm going to. Oh, Rashi just speaks about that and just go into the next. No, every word has to shine, meaning to say, has to make sense. There's no extra words there. And if you do, is that you feel like there's extra words and it's just because you didn't understand it. You're ma'ayin and everything. It's a Rashi, a Teisvis, a Rishon, an Achrin, or, you know, starting from the Gemara itself, a, a, a Mishnah. The Gemara, you understand it. You put your mind to it. You remove, of course, your mind from anything else which would... Um, um, deviate the concentration, which would be a reason to deviate the concentration on what you're learning. So you separate yourself from that and you focus. You mind that the Iyuna Teira is a certain expression of intimacy with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And al Rebbe intimates this over here, but he says this clearly, and he's alluding to this, which he says in the end of 45th chapter in Tanya, 45th chapter, in a number of places, but namely in the end of the 45th chapter in Kuti Amorim, Right, I guess the Chuba has twelve chapters. Shaykh Lamun has twelve chapters. In the end of the forty fifth chapter you can see as Dal Trebbe says there, the idea of learning Taita is an expression of intimacy with the Baruch Hu. Uttering the words of a Baruch Hu is is also part again, you have to see the expression there. It's an incredible, incredible uh, you know, pre- presentation of the Al Trebbe, incredible um, uh, uh, um, insight. But Al Tareb's understanding or appreciating the matter, the, the, the mitzvah of Limud Atayra. It's not just a mitzvah and it's a checklist, is what I do. No, learning Tayra per se, being ma'ayin in Tayra, and uttering the words of Tayra is a full on scale connection and relationship to the extent of an intimate relationship with the Baruch. You can see the Lashon there, the end of Tayra Gim 45th chapter, click away. And so to Machshava, so, and, and that brings in. My so that Al Tareb gives an example of the heart, but again, 
Hashem, the Nebuchadnezzar Vechulu, etc. My heart is in it with this which the heart of Hashem is, is involved in, which again is compassion, like the Gemara says, Rachum, when Chazor, Chaz, when Nebuch is kind and mercy, and he demonstrates kindness and mercy, is the famous Sukkim the Gemara brings, and it, uh, attached with different incidents of a Baruch Hu, besides the fact that Hashem himself on the overall Teva Tevleit is a God Lagibur and so on. But the Gemara speaks about details of a Baruch Hu's conduct, being a Rachum and a Chan and a graceful God, a merciful God, and so on. I identify with that. I become the same type of person. I mean, emulate my midas, do the same as a Baruch Hu. Oneness, my midas are involved, my attributes are involved in this service. And so too, my seichel, my intellect, is as well involved in learning teda, not some iu not teda. And mashav, 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 these baruch. And my thought in Ashkodesh Baruch Hu's thought, vadibur bivad Hashem zolalach. And my speech, if I have speech, I bring it and I sweep it into the Savedis Hashem, which is uttering the words of teda, dvar Hashem zolalach, the word of Ashkodesh Baruch Hu. This is halacha. O kumesh kosov asim dvarai beficho. Which is again an expression of true oneness that when a Yid learns Torah, it's not that he's separate of a separate of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Hashem, he becomes so close, close, close with Hashem that Hashem says, "My words are placed in your mouth." Like there's no two entities over here. My words are placed in your mouth. I'll place the first pasuk. I will place my words in your mouth. And then the other with my word that I have placed in your mouth. Because you're learning Torah is because you're one with Hashem, so it's kind of a you're a conduit to the divine word of Akadj Baruch, which is Dvar Hashem Zuhalacha. And you're part of Torah, but of course the words of Akadj Baruch, the way the way it's associated with actually the halacha, the halacha, even beyond the uh, the the, the uh, Torah which re- reaches and will eventually um, be dealt with till it will come to the halachic expression. The Hamaisen, so to my action, is also pulled into this because, again, based on the sensational connection with Hashem, and whether that itself is based on the understanding of the with Tuf Tam Vadas, with thorough understanding. So my mice is also brought in. Mice is my Sabstoko, the Hachi Surah which is primarily, of course, the entire Torah is. An expression of the action of the yid. The significant majority of the mitzvahs are through action, putting on film, putting on mezuzah, and film, and mitzvahs. All the mitzvahs, you can see beyond, the, the, we say significant majority, you look at mitzvahs, is all about maisa. But primarily, where do you see the yid's real connection with Kodesh Baruch Hu? Is in the maisa of tzedakah, as we, note, we take note, and the people very from till actual tzedakah. We spoke about it the other day, and we're going to talk about it in, in detail, but and why so? It's because really you're giving of yourself. That's the true maisa. Money that you earned, that you worked hard for, and if you didn't work hard, work hard for it, this is something that you could spend, which can, can money, uh, the, the, which would contribute to your, your own life and comfort and so on, and you give it away. That's the real expression of maisa in connection with HaKadosh Baruch But someone has this sensational relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hashem wants tzedakah. I, I'm giving tzedakah becomes default money, and it becomes part of me. I want to give tzedakah, despite it's too bad. I don't even look at the difficulty. Because that's what he wants. As, they, as, as, they can, as he's mentioned many times, when there's a sensation, it doesn't matter what the details is, everything becomes easier to do, because you want to do. You have such a, a appreciation to do for the other party. And so too, when it comes to Maisa, when it comes to Maisa, he valtered but chooses tzedakah, of course. Additional to Valt Rebbe, famously in Lamed Zayin and Tanya Lukut Yamorim, Valt Rebbe explains, just, it, it, it brought out a few points over here, some tidbits of this. Valt Rebbe says there why the Iker Maisa Mitzvahs in Yerushalmi, when it says Mitzvahs, it's referring to Tzdoko. As Valt Rebbe speaks there in Lamed Zayin, the 37th chapter, and towards, towards the middle, pretty much towards the middle or a little after the middle of the chapter, um, you can easily find it. And again, it's a quick way, you could identify it with the text. So I'll tell you, it speaks about the real idea, the advantage of Maisa Tzedaka more than any other mitzvahs. And this is what Maisa, so the, the, the Yid is, has that, so to say, that passionate connection with Hashem. So the Maisa, he's doing this as well. And he's doing it with great uh, oomph. Hashem, give me the, I, I, or, or, or any, any, any situation of, 
poverty which comes to a person's mind, if it's poverty in the literal sense, or something which is somebody is in, someone's in need, in, 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 or a, a, a institution in need, I'm there. I, I want to just extend myself because I'm so in love with Hashem. My to give to bring life to the spirit of the lowly, meaning to say those who are having difficulties in livelihood and similar. Like it says, the six days Hashem created the, the world. So it says that the Shesh is also the, the, um, the uh, six Midas. And Hashem expressed himself with the six Midas, his six attributes. And we are meant to, as well, emulate and identify with the Midas of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, this which is demanded of us. For example, the idea of Chesed, which is the idea of Tzedakah, char- charity, extending myself to another human being, and so on. And this is the idea of the cleaning of spirit to spirit, which is, of course, an expression of uh, an intim- intimate expression, an expression of intimacy. The connection of spirit to spirit, and with the Baruch Hu, this is the Yizdavkes Rucha Berucha, Betachos Advekes Vayichud, with the ultimate adherence, the ultimate cleave, and oneness, as it becomes as a result of love. And why is there so much love? And why is there passionate love? Because the Yid had this perfect, and this thorough understanding that HaKadosh Baruch Hu betuft in matters of, of godliness, and the reality of godliness, betuft hamadas, which is again the idea of Bina. And the idea of Bina, just to, to keep it in, in perspective over here, the idea of Bina, it corresponds to the hey ilo of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And the idea of Tshuva, is a tshuva ilo, the supreme tshuva, is returning the hey, expressing that oneness, with the, the which is usually identified with the yud, which is about bit of true oneness with Hakadosh Baruch Hu. and the hey returns to the yud, which means any expression of expansiveness of the yid, if it's his learning Torah or his appreciation of matters of Elokus, it's always connected to that yud, bina ben yud ke, finding again the hey connected with the Yud, meaning to say that there's always that bit of that true oneness, which is that type of oneness that Dalton again so uniquely expresses in the Pedic in the, Ches, in the, in, the, in the end of the, the, uh, the eighth chapter, towards the end of the eighth chapter. As we mentioned, Beterim, Betachas HaYichud, similar to Beterim, Shnaf Chubarok, Yisbaruch, as we explained it there, and saying this in Loshon HaKadosh, but again, you can see it in the end of, the, in the, uh, towards the end of Pedic Ches, uh, you can, as you can just click to that uh, to that class, so that is expressed in in learning Torah and in Bino, in in, in in the elaborate appreciation and perception of matters of a locus of godliness, which that itself will change will be a game changer in the whole system of the Yid, because if there's a is Beinenus and a Kodesh Baruch Hu betuf tamadas a thorough understanding appreciation of matters of a locus. It would ignite the heart. And we know the heart runs very deep. And there's a certain infinity exists in the heart, even more than mind for that matter. Which, of course, the question is, as Chassidus asks, how could a mind, which there's more, it's more limited, more structured and more limited, ignite something which has, you can sort of say, infinite character? So the Al-Tareb explains in many places, starting from the al that the truth of the Midas has its own domain. It's give, it, when you say it, it's produced, it's born as a result of seichel. It doesn't mean that it doesn't. It, it, it becomes. It's ignited in a way that it kind of just comes into expression. Which in that context, it's born, and it's as a clear production of chokhmah But nonetheless, it is re- on, on its own, very much anchored in the soul and the neshama. It just turns it on. The once it turns, it's turned on. Yes, we do know that the heart carries a certain sense of infinity. So people are easier to be offended as opposed to if there was, so to say, the kid relationship with human beings only on, a, on an intellectual level. Yeah, you have to just point, you know, make the calculation. This one said this and said that, and okay, not a big deal. But when it comes to heart, the idea of the person's offended or is the person that's why Tayyid demands sensitivity to another human being in general, even to the animal life. And Hashem wants sensitivity to, the, to everything we see around us. On every level, and, and, and how much more so to human beings, more so to another yid, because because feelings run very deep. There's a certain infinite character 
uh, in, in Midas more than any other system, any other faculty of the human being, as we know. And it works so po- on the positive side. When there's ignited a Ava, love, Baruch love runs very deep, as we all know. That's why love is a, 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 a sensitive idea, a character. It always has to be directed in the right direction. Because it has such a, it's such a, because of it, it's, it's sensational, and it's sensational character. It has to be contained and, and, and directed and channeled in the right direction. In other directions, it's, uh, it, 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 uh, it, could, it could be catastrophic to that, for that matter. The Teda tells us how, and it leads us in every single way, and even something which is so powerful, like me, this Teda is able to direct and, 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 and show the way how we can express our Ava in right manners, in right directions, and so on. But how much more so, Teda reveals to us, yes, our relationship with Kodesh Baruch could be truly a sensational relationship. We could truly love Hashem, and that infinite character of love, when it 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 it, it connects with Avedis Hashem, there is no limit. This is the expression: the sky is the limit. There is no limit because again, you have the entire force and, and of the of the compassion, of the of the passion. So to say, uh, sorry, excuse me, the, of the passion and the sensation of that midah, starting with Ava, which Al Tadeva underscores over here. So everything a Yid does, there's always he feels that 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 uh, the connection with Hakadosh Baruch Hu, he senses the connection with Hakadosh Baruch Hu. and because the connection with Hakadosh Baruch Hu comes from Ava, of course everything he does is so different, distinct, and real and raw, and 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 and, and has so much more significance to that very action, similar to when there's a love between two parties. I mentioned the other day that sometimes you know one 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 in, in, in the initial stages of that relationship, and one asks another party to do they 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 they're, they're looking forward to do it and to do it with perfection and there is no effort they don't even find it being an effort. They're, they're running to do for the other party. That whatever for whatever reason that could fade away. Therefore, we have to keep our minds. Many times it's a it's a it's a more of a calculative. Uh, approach, but many times in a good relationship, there's always that that spark or that fire, some one one way or another. Of course, at certain times it comes to total expression of fruition. But even the, the, throughout the person's mm, a lifetime, throughout this person's daily and weekly and monthly obligations, th- there's always that spark which establishes that that interest in doing things with 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 ease and with excitement, one way or another. And when it comes